Hey, we're Herons on the Roam. We're a family of five who recently sold almost everything that we own to buy a truck and a fifth wheel camper to roam around the U.S. creating memories as a family. In this week's episode, we left Brobridge, Louisiana to head off to Conroe, Texas. We got up early Saturday, fueled up on some coffee, and then hit the road. But because of some scheduling with check-in and check-out days and requirements, we had to make a one-day stop over in Baytown, Texas. So we have most of our trip planned out to where we are traveling distances based on trying to keep it like four hours or so. But basically the distances with the size of the tank of our truck we won't have to stop and get gas. So it saves us the frustration of having to stop. And yet, here we are, at a loves, as always, because my family has the bladder size of a peanut. So, it was good in theory, but unable to execute on it fully so far. First back in sight, it was I mean, we got it in there, but it really tested the relationship. <laughs> People keep saying that it'll get easier. I don't know if that's true or not, but I guess we will figure that out. We'll see. Since we were only in Baytown for the night, we hung out at the playground. The kids and Clint played at the pool for a little while, and we ate at a really good fast food restaurant called Freddy's. The burger and the cheese curds were amazing. The next morning, we left Baytown and headed on towards Lake Conroe. I'm going to see Daddy. All right, so we're at Lake Conroe, Thousand Trails Park. Yeah, I said it wasn't that bad of a walk. <laughs> <laughs> up to go and do something exciting something that I've loved for 36 years but I've never actually been able to experience in person so hopefully that'll be fun Sarah and the kids they probably don't care at all but they're gonna have a good time or at least fake it because their dad's gonna have a good time so hopefully it's good we'll show you guys what that is when we get there. Harbor we're in the city. Look, we're in Houston. Yep. Yep. They didn't do good. Houston Dynamo looked like the better team for about 10 minutes and then it was all downhill. So, but it was fun. Brought that was it. fun. The games don't fun. last that long. It was nice. There's a car coming. Dad, what did you think? I liked it. I thought it was awesome. Theo loved really? the nachos. Yes. In the stadium. Super pumped. All the seats looked like they were great. You could see better than on TV. Don't 
two of them though. One thing we heard a lot about whenever we were looking into getting a camper was how manufacturer tires weren't that good. And we even had a guy parked right next to us in Burbridge who had his tire blow out and tear up the whole side. So we had ordered five new tires for the camper and had those delivered to Conroe, Texas. It's pretty crazy picking up five tires from a FedEx office, but we had to have them so we could go and get those put on. So now we're running on all new tires. We are tireless at the moment. Tireless. No tires. You can see this count tire. In Conroe, Texas. And they have been great. After we got back from getting our tires done, we found a much better spot to pull the camper into, and Clint pulled in perfectly. It um, was a lot nicer. It had a patio, a shade tree, but it was on a little bit of a hill. All of the sites at Thousand Trails Campgrounds are first come, first serve. The first site that we had was a pull through, and we were almost on top of our neighbors. I'm about to run to the store. Look at this too high so we're gonna get some blocks some big sturdy ones we'll see it's pretty wobbly whenever someone's walking up here so but that's all we had so well we did a lot of work cutting screwing gluing to make these pads so it's like a little two inch piece a bigger piece that leather, I guess, to keep it from slipping. And a rubber pad, so we're still way up, but it's better. I think it feels sturdier, as far as we can tell. Not too bad. Thanks to our awesome new site, we even got to cook s'mores, or as we like to call them, roasted marshmallows and chocolate and graham crackers all eaten separately. It's happening! Soon, there will be a washer dryer combo unit right here, so I don't have to go to the laundry mat. Huge washer dryer down the hall, somehow, and put a hole in our camper all the way through. So hopefully, it works. Apparently, you can only wash like couple of pair of pants per load but we've spent a fortune so far on laundry. Theo, you working hard or hardly working? You taking our panel off? No. Cutting up some carpet because the directions very explicitly say do not install on carpet. Apparently it makes the vibration worse. Oh, we're close. Womp womp. Did not work. We had bought the washer and dryer off of Facebook Marketplace. We hooked it up. We did all that work. And it did not work. It wouldn't run a full cycle the way that it was supposed to. So I contacted the people that we bought it from asking them if they knew anything about the way it was acting. And they offered to let us return it. We took them up on the offer and returned it, so now we have a hole in the camper, but we do not have a washer and dryer. Daddy and the big kids are on the kayak. We got laundry duty. We are taking my birthday present out for a test run. So we'll see how it goes. Pretty excited about it. I think the oldest two kids are going to come with me. you know what that is? Ready? Yeah. Lucas? I don't, yeah, I'm ready, I guess. I didn't sound very confident. Yeah. Alright, we're here.
doing it. I'm We're out. That noise. I'm scared. Kinda. It's an Intex K2. Seems to be working so far so good. Kids like to all lean to the same side of the, the kayak, which is super exciting and terrifying. Well, it was fun. I think it would probably be even better if we had brought some fishing poles. But uh, we fought the current all day. I say all day. I don't know how long we were out here. It wasn't that long, but it was tough. Paddling, especially with just dead weight on the kayak. But other than the setup and the breakdown, it was good. It's a good time. I didn't video the breakdown, but it's super easy. You release three plugs, all the air pours out, then you just fold it, roll it up, put it back in.